Okay, so now let's check how this script actually works. So it's always a good idea to understand how and what it's executing. So this is what it's going to be called by the, the script. And you can see here that the first thing that it does is to source some other file here, which is the build func. So we're going to have a look into that in a second. Uh, so we have some default settings, update script. Okay, so here is what it's actually going to start doing. So it's going to go and run start first. So let's search for that in here. Since we don't have a function called start in this file, it must be in here. So let's click start. So here's where it's going to start. Um, so it's going to look into this. So one fun fact for the ones that who doesn't know is you can try all of these commands on your environment. So let's say here, I want to see what this does. I can just have a look and this is how they managed to do that. Let's just say fun fact, let's do that. And then you will have a look. So if you say yes, if you say no, it's going to be here because of this. If you say yes, it's going to continue with the install script. And then we can have a look into this install script. Let's see what it is. So it's here. So it's going to run a few checks that's over there then it's going to stop it's going to go header info and then default settings so this is the one that we checked before so it's just setting some variables which is fine and then otherwise it's going to be advanced settings which is going to lead you down the other path i'm not going to go through every single line of this script but you get the idea so let's continue with the after they start, let's go back to there. Start. Is there anything else here? Start script. So this is how to run the update. Nope. Okay, so that's all. And next is going to be build container. Oh, which is down here. Uh, so let's see how they do it. So it's going to build container, and depending if you select Alpine, it's going to grab that other one otherwise it's going to be this one here so let's see what it's doing so it's setting some colors ip so it's all functions message info okay error setting up container another function update os customize okay so it's not calling anything it's just setting up a few functions so let's see what this so some more variables and uh, here is another one. So it's sourcing another file. Let's see what it does here. Uh, so here are um, a few more variables, a few more functions, same as before, message OK. Select storage. So this is how they select the storage. Again, here is giving you a few prompts. Um, oh, and here is how they create. So they use this PCT create. So if you don't know, you can automate everything using single line. So, oh, wait a second. Let's see. Where is it? Do I miss it? Oh, yeah. PCT create. PCT create. Oh, I see the problem. So see here, I'm using the console of this container. So I need to go to the Proxmox one and then shell. And then here we're going to go PCT. And here is everything that you can do programmatically. And here you see PCT clone create. So they are using the create. They pass the ID and then the template and the options that it set up before. Let's see where we So PCT, we're not here. I'm here. PCT create, so giving the ID, the templates, and the storage locations. Yep. So that's how they create that. And then if we go back, so create LXD, let's go back. We were here. And then after that, it's going to set up a USB pass through. If available, if you set up the type zero which is privileged, so 
So this is for privileged containers. And here, if it's a privileged container and you are using one of these apps, Frigate, Jellyfin, or Llama, then it's gonna also set up the GPU for you. So that's how you set up GPU, just in case you wanna do that manually as well. All uh, right, use it that zero card. And then it's gonna start the container. Again, the same command that we saw before, PC P start, which is fine. And then it's gonna run some execution on, and then here, so this is the important part. LXC attach is what makes it possible to run a command on your recently created machine. So it's gonna try to run this here based on the var install. So if you open this one here, of course it's not gonna open anything. So here we are trying to uh, set up N8N in this example. It's not gonna load because we need to see what it is set up here. So if we follow the path here, it's gonna add, it's gonna remove all spaces here at the top and then it's gonna add the dash install at the end. So we remove all spaces, which is already done, and then add the install at the end. So this is how it installs in an eight. Uh, let's check. So a few functions calling, set up container, network check, and update OS. After all of that, that's done. Uh, let's check. So here's one of the dependencies. So it, Node.js, it's gonna try to install Node.js in here. And then after that, it's gonna install NNH not as a Docker container, interesting. So it's going to install as an NPM global package. So that's useful if you want to debug later or change configurations. So that's how you know. I guess that's it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave down the comments and I'll try to answer them all. Thank you guys.